Hi, welcome to Shell's Sugar Rush. Thank you for joining me for my very first video ever. Uh, today I'm going to be trying my hand at a mirror glaze cake. I've been looking at these a lot and just wanted to give it a shot. So let's get started. So for this recipe, you're going to need a medium saucepan. You will need two cups of white chocolate. You will need a half a cup plus one tablespoon of water, one and a half cups of granulated sugar, two thirds cups of sweetened condensed milk. You will need two tablespoons of unflavored gelatin and another half cup of water. You will need a couple of bowls to mix your color and whatever colors you desire to use. I'll be using a purple, a sky blue, and a green today. You will also need a frozen cake. This is just a frozen two layer vanilla cake. You need a pedestal for it that will be smaller than your cake. I'm actually just using one of my canisters and you will need a tray preferably with the wire rack so that you'll have something to catch your drippings from the mirror glaze. Okay, so to get started, we are going to take our gelatin and our half cup of water. I'm going to put it in the bowl. Put our gelatin in. Just going to stir that, make sure it's all, all the gelatin gets good and wet so that it can bloom. Make sure it's good and dissolved. Okay. And then we're going to set that to the side. And we're going to take our half cup plus one tablespoon of water, our sweet condensed milk, and our granulated sugar. And we're going to mix these together in our saucepan. And I'm going to step over to the stove so I can warm that up. Okay, so now we're back with our condensed sweet condensed milk our sugar and our water we've put it on the stove and brought it to just to a boil and as soon as it starts to boil we pull it off the stove now we're going to add in our gelatin bloom that's all ready to go we're going to mix it into our glaze all right, and then we're going to stir it up real good until it's all dissolved Looks like we're good to go there. And now we're going to take our glaze and we're going to pour it over our two cups of white chocolate. And we're going to let that set just about five minutes to melt the chocolate. Okay, so we're going to see if our chocolate's all mixed up. We're going to mix it real good. You want to make sure it's all melted. And it's looking pretty good. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is take my extra bowls. And a couple of bowls here. It just depends on how many colors you're going to use as to how many bowls you will need. So we're going to take a little bit and put in this bowl to make our color. We'll put a little bit in this one. And let's put a little more in that one. Okay. And then we'll keep some in our in our bowl that we started with. So let's add a little green in here. And then we'll put a little purple in this one. And a little bit of our sky blue. So we're just going to stir them up. Oh, doesn't that blue look gorgeous? Oh, beautiful color. And we have our gorgeous green. And last, our purple. Beautiful deep purple. So we have our colors ready to go. And one thing you want to make sure of is you want to pour these at about 90 degrees, okay? So it'd be good to have a candy thermometer handy. I'm just going to check that real quick. 
So it looks like we're about where we need to be. So we're going to bring our frozen cake back in to get ready to pour our mirror glaze on it. Okay, so to make this a little easier, I'm going to pour my first color into a measuring cup with a spout. Just to give me a little more leverage on the pouring. You always want to catch your outside first. Oh, a beautiful color. I'm going to add some of our purple in there. And go ahead and combine with some of our green. want to give it about 10 or 15 minutes to let those drips set and then you'll be able to take a spatula and just run right around the bottom and take them off. So now we have our finished product, our mirror glaze cake. Um, overall, I think it looks pretty good. I think I could have let the, the glaze get a little bit hotter. Um, we do have some speckles of white chocolate, so uh, first try there. Next time it'll be better. <laughs> um, but uh, overall, I do think it looks pretty good. I love the color scheme, and I look forward to doing many, many more of these. Um, thank you all for joining me on this journey, and uh, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you in the future for more videos.